The death toll from that massive tornado that devastated Joplin now stands at 126. Joplin City Manager Mark Wohler announced the updated figure Thursday after meeting with residents and government officials about plans to offer assistance to victimized residents. More than 900 people suffered injuries in Sunday's tornado, now considered the nation's single deadliest in the past six decades. In the wake of recent deadly tornadoes, a Kansas company is keeping busy building storm shelters. As KSN's Aileen Simborio reports, they're getting calls from homeowners and also businesses looking to keep their employees safe. That story is new at 10. It's devastation no one wants to see, nevertheless, live through. The people are actually scared now. They're actually fearful of the storms. That's why Dale Zogelman has been inundated with inquiries from across the country. More than we've ever had in the history of the company in, in one day. His company, Protection Shelters, builds storm shelters for your garage, basement, underground, and above ground. If you need a storm shelter, we can build it. Made of concrete and steel, the shelters can be customized for families with wheelchair-bound loved ones or businesses wanting to protect their employees. The company says all of their shelters are tested and they've been proven to withstand winds of 250 miles per hour. So it's built super safe. Zogelman gives us a tour of the shelter he built six months ago for the city of Clearwater. This particular shelter in the city of Clearwater, it has heat and air. It's equipped with a thermostat, a bathroom, and enough space for up to 150 people. There were just too many people that didn't have enough safe places to go. They either didn't have basements or safe rooms or storm shelters. His safe rooms can cost anywhere from several thousand to several hundred thousand dollars, depending on the size. But for many, that's a small price to pay for peace of mind during severe storms. Everybody needs a safe place to go and everybody needs a plan. And don't wait till the last minute to seek shelter. Aileen Simborio, KSN News. The company says the smaller garage shelters can be installed in just a day or so, while the bigger community shelters will take on average four to six weeks to complete.